Not for a while. But what I'm saying is I think Carter is sick, or possibly even dead, and that the man we saw today was an imposter brought in to keep Pewterschmidt Industries' stock price up and to keep people from knowing the truth. Well, you are just going to keep on talking with that poppy seed stuck in your teeth, aren't you? Anyway, what are you suggesting? Poster, then this guy we're following never had cancer. Yeah, so? Well, you're a dog. Can't you just sniff cancer? No, that's just a myth we started so we could stick our snouts in girls' boobs. <sighs> it's nice to have a clean bill of health. Well, for now. The key is weekly follow-ups. You know, cervical cancer is also a problem. My boyfriend thinks he might have prostate cancer. Nope, doesn't. Cure on level 12. Did you hear that, Brian? That walking corpse was Carter dying of cancer. This guy is an imposter. Oh my god. And I bet Specimen Z is the real Carter's body. You two didn't hear that, did you? Hey, buddy, we're, we're just trying to read the paper here. I'll have you fired for talking to me like that. I don't work here. Then I'll have you killed. I want to die. You can call me the Man of La Mancha. <laughs> hey, why does your time machine have a sticker that says Property of Stewie Griffin? Uh, well, I... I... <sighs> all right, to be completely honest, and because we've already had sex, it's not mine. I use it all the time, and the owner has no idea. In fact, he'd kill me if he knew. What happened? I don't know. Dear God, my time machine! You, uh, you want to tell me about this? See, I told you, it was Meg. I don't think so. The crotch doesn't look like a BMX track. You bastard! You've been using my time machine to nail your bar skanks! How is this even possible? Well, clearly, when you attempted to reverse the gauge on my time machine, you somehow released a quantum shockwave powerful enough to push the flow of time in the opposite direction. I can only surmise that you and I were isolated from its effects because we were inside the machine at the moment of temporal inversion. Are you... are you sleeping? Uh, no, no, I, no, I was listening. What the devil is that? It's Peter and Chris. Sounds like they're in trouble. Oh. My God, why is there vomit everywhere? Is that the Epicac bottle? Oh, no. No, please, not this. Oh, God, it's not going to be coming out of us. It's going to be going... Oh, dear God! Oh. Okay, show me one way in which cats are better than dogs. Well, okay. Uh, for one thing, they always land on their feet. Watch! So, big deal. Dogs do that, too. Here, go ahead. Do what you just did, but with me. Oh my god! Oh! My neck! Oh! Oh my god, Brian! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Call somebody! Meow. Purr. Purr. I think you're dreaming. No, I'm not. Peter. I think Lois might be having a midlife crisis. Come on, dudes! Who wants to hop in my wheels and head to the beach for some ultimate frisbee? Yeah, Sheldon, I'm with you. I can't... I can't do that. Really? I know, right? It's, I mean, I'm not complaining, you know, but I just... I want my old life back. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. It's... I, I'm so grateful. You know, I mean, every performance is sold out, and they just added a Wednesday matinee. It's great. I mean, there's only one thing I'm not getting out of this experience. What's that? Sleep. <laughs> no, no, I'm so grateful, really. It's just that I'm, I'm... You're such an amazing writer, Brian. How do you do it? What's your process? Oh, God, Allison, how do I even answer that? Uh, I mean, what's a rainbow's process? Two parts rain, one part sun, one part childlike wonder. What we do know, though, is that the end result in both cases is joy. Come here, you bastard! You stink, and your play stinks! This ain't about me, is it? Oh. <laughs> no. And I'm sorry. But nobody can ever know that. Not for a while. But what I'm saying is, I think Carter is sick, or possibly even dead, and that the man we saw today was an imposter brought in to keep Pewterschmidt Industries' stock price up, and to keep people from knowing the truth. Well, you are just gonna keep on talking with that poppy seed stuck in your teeth, aren't you? Anyway, what are you suggesting? Poster, then this guy we're following never had cancer. Yeah, so? Well, you're a dog. Can't you just sniff cancer? No, that's just a myth we started so we could stick our snouts in girls' boobs. <laughs>